Patrick Apple, and I write for Newspeak Online. Um, so, you see, one excuse that the government has been given is that the PDP government over relied on a mono economy, oil, oil, oil. And that is why today we're suffering <coughs> because of due to reduce their revenue. Now, and of course, the governors then were also going to Abuja to get, them to get their allocations from this same oil money. Now, Governor Jumobi was one of those governors since 2011. He was also getting allocations from the federal. Now, but of course, now that the APC government is talking about the fact that ah, the PDP should have diversified the economy, what would you say Governor Jumobi has done since 2011 as regards diversification, so that by now he too wouldn't be um, uh, crying about, in quotes, about reduced funds from the federal government and then the state IGR also being low. And I, what I mean by diversification, I mean also in relation to solid uh, minerals. So, what do you think he has done to that effect? And how can that, do you think what from the plants on ground now will go to sustain the IGR of the state so you, cannot, so that you will not even rely on federal uh, allocation in years to come? Thank you so much. Uh, you are asking the right person if it's the solid minerals and oil state. You know, I delved into it a little the other time. One, when we got to government in 2011 and I was appointed, in the issue of solid minerals, you all know that it's in the exclusive legislative list. So, what Governor Adimobi did then was to now float a company called Pace Setter Mineral Development Company, right? And he also established Mineral Development Agency under the governor's office to make your state able to participate adequately in mineral exploration and exploitation. And ever since then, we have been able to, in your state, establish that there is gold in this state, that no other government had ever even attempted. And what did we do? We have to get all the technocrats, both local and foreign, to help us look all over our state for what we have in terms of mineral resources. And we were able to assess 24 minerals. And as I speak, we know where these minerals are, the locations, we know what the minerals are. And uh, I mentioned gold because these are things we never thought is in your state. And it will amaze you that even on uh, Oluyole, Egbeda, there are traces of gold in those areas. Dito Ibarakpa Nokyogu. Another thing that uh, we are able to discover is a mineral called tack. It's an industrial mineral that they normally use for ceramics. They use it for paints. They use it for uh, in the pharmaceutical industries. We were able to discover that too. That was not in the list of uh, minerals in Oyo. And we also have licenses over all these properties that we are partnering with foreign investors to develop. Another one is uh, Igbeti Mabu. It's, it's a sleeping giant. For over 40 years now, nobody has been benefiting from Igbeti Mabu. And the governor, in his uh, efforts to make sure that Oyo State is self sustaining, has uh, formed the board of that uh, Mabu, which I happen to be a member. And we are working there and now to ensure that that company before the end of this year comes on board. And this is a company that will be able to, it's not wholly, solely owned by your state government anyway. The Nigeria Mabu Mining Company is jointly owned by your state government, the federal government, the Ashamu family, and the, the local government. They own shares in that company, but for over the years, the past administration had not, I think, it's only Alaji Lama additional that tried to work on it then. He tried his best. But after him, the whole thing died down. So it's now that we are trying to resuscitate that company. And uh, as we talk, before Governor Adimobi came on board, the, we had few quarries in this state. 
But because of uh, the security put in place in the state, because when people bring a lot of money to come and buy chippings, arm robbers used to attack them and all that. Ever since that stopped, the number of quarries in Oyo State has since doubled. And the state had been getting some little, little revenue from there. Remember, it's in the exclusive legislative list. We don't have absolute power over it. The state also have their own quarry and asphalt plant. Right? So these are his efforts. But the issue of solid minerals is very capital intensive and gestation period is very long. So he has built a solid foundation, although we may not have been getting enough from it now, and another one is that or your state, because of all these efforts, has qualified as solid mineral producing state that will be enjoying 13 percent derivatives from the federal government, which we have started enjoying. But you remember, if you even say they are going to Abuja to take money, how much are they taking now? The money is not even there in Abuja, so every state are beginning to look inwards, and in terms of agriculture. A lot had been done. You re realize that in the past, uh, in the last year, agriculture was launched where all local governments were mandated to have their own farms of several hectares of land, which was done cassava, maize, and all that. And recently, yesterday, this yesterday in our way, Pay setter farms was being uh, inaugurated by His Excellency. He went to Benin Republic to bring Songhai farm. If you know Songhai farm, from planting to all fallow chains of agriculture, that's what they do. They plant, they process, they package, and they market. He has been able to bring that to your state. And if you go to Songhai farm in Benin, <laughs> they are doing wonders there. So he went there and brought those people to your state. He had also made it a policy that whoever wants to farm in Oyo State, whether corporate or individuals, should, they should come. We are going to provide land for them to farm. So like uh, some people will go to the north and uh, farm. You should come to Oyo State. We have a lot of land. At least I can assure you that as we speak now, we have more than 300 hectares of land. Tomorrow you will hear all this. So, because he said that you're not there. But a lot has been done for your state to be self dependent And you ask His Excellency, why are you doing this? You only have a few years to go. But well, he's doing it <clears throat> for posterity. He's doing it for the incoming government so that when they come and the dividends of these things are coming to the state, the people of the state will benefit from it. He's not doing it so that he will take the glory alone, but he's doing it for posterity.